We're here today on the Callan Estate to actually look at perceptions of the area. Uh, whatever the history is, a number of people have differing views over Callan and we want to see whether the residents of Callan think those are justified or unfair. Whether you are talking to the residents who live here, whether you are talking to the rest of Preston who view Callan from a distance, or the Lancashire Evening Post and local press. How do they portray the area and do we think that's fair? Now we're sat now in the pod which has been the focus of a lot of disruptive behaviour back in the past but as you can see around it's quite nice now especially on a warm sunny day or at least it would be a lot nicer if the wind wasn't quite so cold. No it is, it's very, it's just, there's nothing untoward to going on at all, it's very peaceful, children playing, walking around. Which is not necessarily the image that when someone first hears the word canon that they think of um, and we want to see what we can do about changing those perceptions. Canon got better, it will never be perfect. No. Uh, uh, I mean all the estates are the same, uh, like Ingle, Tanterton, but I think it got better, but, but I think the Evening Post always put the Callan what estate in a bad light. So Have you got the Evening I've Post? I've got the Evening there, Post tonight, I'm not looking I hope you're not a member of the Evening <laughs> Post. No. Before you moved onto the Callan estate, just over a year ago, um, what was people's opinions of the Callan estate? What was your opinion? What did you think? Oh, uh, first of all, I was told that it's not a good area to live in. It's yeah. too much of bad social behaviour. And I came round myself, I looked during the day, it was quiet, so I thought maybe it's during the day, every children are school, people are doing. I came back around night, of, uh, at night around 10 o'clock, I drove round and it was quiet, so I thought, okay, we'll take a chance. But since from then, I haven't had any problem and I like the area, it's quiet, it's good. So you'd say that maybe those negative views of Callan are unfair? Um, so far when I asked other people, they said it used to be, but mm -hmm. not this side, but maybe the other side, it used to be very noisy, but at the moment it's very quiet because people that used to make noise, they moved out, so okay. I think they are right, because since I've moved here, I have not had any negative things or anything that I can say, oh, that can make me to move or anything, but I'm happy with the way it is. What do you think of the press coverage that this area has received in the past? Well, the papers blow it up. They make more of it than it yeah, is? Yeah, right. All right, there is a problem. Yeah. But uh, just because he's gallant. Yeah, it gets a negative view. Yeah, and it, it sticks. Okay. You know, I can mm -hmm. give a dog a bad name and it... Yeah, you know. it's hard to get rid of it then, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think the coverage now is the same as, say, the coverage a few years back? Or would you say there's been any change? Well, there's been a lot of change. Now, 15 years ago, I used to live just down the road from here, um, on Fishwick. And at the time, Callum was a complete no-go area, um, especially somewhere you wouldn't want to be after dark. I had no idea at all how nice it's become. When I came to take this post, it was a pleasant surprise how nice the area really is. And that is something that has not been communicated at all. You still mention Callum and people think of the burnt out cars and Neighbours from Hell documentary. It's actually really pleasant. It is pleasant. It's very pleasant today, particularly, because the weather's so lovely and it all looks lovely, but yeah, I would agree, it is pleasant. What did you think last week when we um, went round the estate, when we were talking to people, the residents? I thought it was a bit of a shame that they were quite reluctant to talk to us on camera, which probably poses another question, why were they so reluctant? But I thought the actual residents we spoke to were really nice off camera. We didn't really have any issues, did we? Not really, but well, we got a few. Um, we got a couple of people, three people that we spoke to, who were really good and really had lots to say. And they didn't mind the camera. In. And then there was a few that we spoke to who were quite happy to talk to us. But then once we mentioned the flip cam, they just one girl actually literally jumped away, physically jumped away. And she didn't want that at all. And it, it does make you wonder why they've got such um, a fear of, of being filmed. And maybe, and maybe we could. 
we'd have to think about wording it differently or maybe it's the way we're saying it to them, I'm not too sure yet. I think it may be that they view us as the media itself. They've had so much negative press over the past mm. few years that perhaps they think we might change their words or perceive the Calumet State as it was ten years ago rather than, you know, as it is at present day. Yeah, it could be like a lack of trust, you know, trust issues in what we're doing and, and how we're doing it. But the, but the majority of the people were all quite willing to talk and I found that they were they were really welcoming and I was quite happy to say that we could come back and speak to them at other times. So. Yeah. And I think it was good, I personally found it really good going around and speaking to one or two people and knowing you can go back and they were quite happy to do that because they, they're getting to I think it's nice that we've been on the estate for about eight weeks now and we're trying to build a rapport now. Mm. You can see there's evidence of that relationship happening between us and the residents. I can feel that happening.